This is your installation splash screen. The first thing we'll do is click install. On specific computers, depending on your security settings, you might get some sort of warning on the bottom of your screen. Just click keep or allow. Once the link is finished downloading, just click here. Next, your computer will ask you if you'd like to install this application. Let's click install. Depending on your specific computer and the speed of your internet, this step may take a few minutes. Congratulations, you've successfully installed your software. Now let's just type in our username and password. The next step is to read through the end user license agreement. Once you're finished, click agree. Welcome to our home screen. This customizable screen puts everything you need to prepare tax returns in one convenient, user-friendly location. Let's go over the various tiles. First is the return summary. These metrics will allow you to keep track of the different statuses of your returns. You can track which returns have been accepted, rejected, started, completed, and which ones are still in progress. The next tile is the New Return tile. Clicking this tile will begin the process to start a new return for a brand new customer. If you have a returning customer that you would like to carry forward from last year, click the Import Prior Year Return tile. Next is the Client List. Clicking the Client List will open the Client Grid, which is where you will manage all of your returns. If you are a new customer, you will most likely need to convert your client returns from your previous software to your new software. The Prior Year Software tab makes this process incredibly easy. The next important tab is the Banking Errors tab. This convenient tab will direct you to a web page that will help you resolve any bank errors you may have concerning your bank product customers. If you aren't signed up for bank products, Please watch the Bank Products video or give us a call to learn more about how bank products can help generate revenue for your business, easily allow your customers to pay their tax prep fees through their refund, and apply for refund advances. Next, there are two dedicated tabs in relation to training and resources to make your job easy. The Software Tutorials and Software Video tabs. These tabs contain training materials to help familiarize you with our product. There are training videos and walkthroughs which are easy to understand and can answer many questions you may have. Like with any software, there may come a time when you need technical support. Our Screen Share tab will help you set up a secure screen share with one of our technical assistants. This convenient feature saves you time in troubleshooting any issues you may have. Next, the eServices tab will direct you to the irs.gov website so you can stay up to date with all related publications IRS updates, and forms. Finally, the last tab will show you patch notes concerning any updates that have been made to the software. On the home screen, there are seven convenient tabs which will aid in your tax preparation. First is the Clients tab. Let's check it out. There are five different windows in the Clients tab. The first window displays the different tax packages that you have created returns in. For instance, if you need to access a state return or a 1065 return, you simply click on the corresponding package. Next is the Client Grid. From here you will see important information about your tax client's returns. The Client Grid displays information such as the client's name, social, the return type, return status, which tells you whether the return has been started, marked complete or marked incomplete, the refund amount or amount due, the e-file status, which shows whether the return has been e-filed, rejected, or accepted, the return ID, which is a unique identifier that can be helpful when speaking to customer support, and also the preparer column, which will display what preparer created the return. This can be extremely helpful in managing offices with multiple preparers.
On the bottom left, you will see the Fees Summary window. This will display real-time stats concerning your invoice for each specific selected client. The next window is the Return Summary. This important window will aid in correcting e-file center errors and IRS rejections. If your e-file status displays error, then you have an e-file center error. In this case, you would click Show Submission Details to display the error. After e-filing, your Show IRS Submitted e-file button will be active. You can click this button to review the MEF e-file itself and to review the timestamp of the return. Once you receive an IRS acknowledgement, the Show IRS ACK button will activate. Depending whether your e-file status is accepted or rejected will depend on what information will be displayed. If your return has been rejected, click the Show IRS ACK button to view the rejection so you can make the necessary corrections and re-e-file the return. Keep in mind, once you mark any return as incomplete after e-filing, the return summary information will be lost. So make sure you copy and paste the error or reject before marking the return as incomplete. Let's get started on creating a new return. There are multiple ways to create new returns in our software. For the purpose of this video, we will simply click New. This will generate the Create New Return window. Select your desired package and enter the social or EIN. Now, simply click OK or hit the Enter key on your keyboard. The software will default into interview mode. Interview mode is a quick way to get started on your client's tax return. Interview mode is designed to enable you to quickly and efficiently prepare tax returns regardless of skill level, which can save you tremendous amounts of money on training costs. Let's begin keying in a return. Once you're finished, simply click Next. Choose whether the taxpayer's address is a U.S. address or a foreign address, then fill out the information below. Now I'd like to show you one of the unique features of our software. This is the dependent screen of our interview mode. Look how clean this screen is. Well, we're able to achieve this because of our unique ad statements. I'm going to quickly and efficiently add a dependent by clicking on the Add button. Now we could add our first dependent. Notice all the fields that have a red X or a red circle. These are intended to highlight which fields are required. Let's key in some information. We can also choose from this screen which dependent credits we would like to add. Now that we are finished with our first dependent, watch how easy it is to add another dependent. Simply click Add once again, then re-key the next dependent's information. It's literally that easy. The next screen is the W-2 entry screen. Same clean format for this screen as well. Like before, we will simply click the Add button and start typing. You will continue these same steps for Schedule C information and your 1099 information.
Click next through the screens, but don't worry. If you need to go back, simply click on the corresponding tab that you need to go back to. Since we have dependents and we are looking to claim the earned income credit, the next screen in interview mode is the IRS 8867 due diligence questions. This form can sometimes be confusing and is one of the most common causes for IRS rejections if not filled out properly. That's why we have simplified it and made it completely user friendly in order to make your job easier. Another common feature throughout our software intended to streamline your tax preparation is our drop down feature. Anytime you see the drop down arrow, whether in interview mode or tax prep mode, simply click the arrow to reveal the rest of the form. As you can see on the right side of the screen, you now have a scroller to help navigate through the form. Once you get to another section that you need to fill out, click the drop down arrow once again. Looks like I'm already finished keying in my return. While in interview mode, I can access the 8879 form and wrap things up. Now simply click go to return to access tax prep mode. Remember that you can skip interview mode at any time by clicking go to return. Now let's explore tax prep mode. Tax prep mode has amazing features as well. But before we explore those features, let's familiarize ourselves with the main screen. Tax prep mode is separated into three sections. On the left is the navigation window or forms tree. In the middle is our forms entry window. And on the right is the return summary window, which provides real time information such as taxes, credits and refund amount. Across the top, we have our save, close and print buttons. In the next row is our add form button. This is one way to add a new form. We'll talk about the other way in just a moment. Next is recalculate, which will recalculate the return. The software auto calculates as you enter data, but in rare specific instances, you may need to manually calculate. The interview button takes you back to interview mode. Once you have finished a return and you are ready to begin the e-file process, you would mark the return as complete by clicking the complete button. This will lock the return and prevent any more data entry on the return. The next step in the e-filing process after marking the return as complete is to click file return. Please note, once you click file return, your e-file will be submitted. If for any reason you need to unlock the return once you have marked it as complete, simply click the mark incomplete button. The next button is our my document sync. Did you know that we offer the ability for you and your tax clients to easily send tax documents back and forth, including scan and fill? This button will access those features. Now, let's go over one of my favorite features of the software, adding a form. There are two ways to accomplish this task. First would be to simply click add form. The next and most convenient way is to right click in a data entry field. Let me explain. We know in the income section for wages, salaries, and tips, we will need to add a W-2. Well, to ensure we are linking to the correct line, let's navigate to the entry field for wages and right click on the field. Hover over create, then click on IRS W-2. Look how easy that was. Now we are ensuring that this W-2 is linking to this line. This becomes especially important when filling out and linking depreciation information. Need to begin a state tax return? No problem. Simply click the Add a State drop down and select your state. Now that we are finished entering in our client's information, we are ready to finalize our return. Let's navigate to our 8879 or electronic filing worksheet. Now that we're on our electronic filing worksheet, our first step is to select your distribution method or payment method. 
If you're using a bank product, select Bank Products and then choose your bank. Otherwise, select IRS Direct Deposit or IRS Check. Note, if you select IRS Direct Deposit, simply click the drop down arrow and then click Add to create the Add Statement to start entering in routing number and account number. So there you have it, a unique user-friendly solution for you to quickly and efficiently prepare taxes. A solution that you can use on any computer in the world without having to worry about losing your clients or carrying around a thumb drive. Your client files are stored safely and securely so you can have multiple workstations without having to network your computers together. As long as you have an internet connection and a computer, then within minutes you'll be on your way to preparing taxes and increasing your company's revenue. Thanks for taking the time with us today. We appreciate your business and look forward to speaking with you soon.